Hey, what's good everybody? It's Gorilla and um, hopefully my mic sounds a little bit more clear than my last couple commentaries because um, I there's like some ambient noise you can kind of hear just like a sort of noise so I don't know trying to get that out of there working on it but anyways I got a domination game on scrapyard and <clears throat> this is how I believe domination should be played in this game I mean Especially if you're just rolling with a two-man party like I am right now. It's just me and my boy B Money. Shout out B Money. He wanted a shout out, so <clears throat> what it do, B Money? But anyways, um, especially if you're only running with like two people. The other four people on our team were, were miraculous. They're just like floaters. They just float us along. They don't do anything good. They don't do anything extremely bad. So they're just there. Um, so me and him were the ones trying to make the difference in the team because you need like a couple people that actually cap the flags that suppress the enemy team at the right times and stuff like that so basically we were getting stomped out the game before this and I told B Money and B Money had the nuke on and I was like alright we're gonna we're gonna win because I hate losing if you guys haven't known yet I hate losing so much in this game and so I before it didn't matter to me, but now it's like it bothers me more and more. <clears throat> but anyways, that's why I put C4 on. If you notice, yeah, just protect flags when I can't be there. But I told him since he had nuke on, I was like, come on, put three, four, five on UAV, counter UAV, and predator missile. UAV, so we know where they're at. Counter UAV, so they're always kind of confused. And predator missile to take out their air support and defend flags. That's what those kills are for. I also put hardline on, and I said make a class with marathon, so you can get to the class, uh, so you can get to the flags faster. Hardline, so we can get stupid UAVs and stupid. Oh, right there. Um, I knew it was going down, so I was just checking the corners to make sure everyone was off B, so they'd have to restart the, the flag cap, and then B money came and picked it up and cleaned it up after. But anyways, <coughs> um, we'd have stupid UAVs and stupid cannon UAVs, if you could tell. If you can hear, or if you can just look at the UAV, it's just almost constantly swiping. And it's ridiculously easier to always have UAV up. And you only need like two people on your team to do it. Just try it out. Both run UAVs, can UAVs, predator missiles. And you might be like, oh, I'm not going to get as many kills because I'm not going to have my precious Pablo or AC-130 on. Nah, you might even get, you probably get more kills because you're always, always going to know where the team's at. So you can just rush like a madman and it's ridiculously easy. Harder for them to find you since you always have a counter UAV up also. So, if you, this is an extremely good class to support like your team with. Or like maybe your friends trying to get higher kill streaks, or your team just isn't that great. You don't play with a six-man party. Extremely, extremely good class for it. Um, I put ninja on. Third perk, I'd keep it ninja just to make it. Um, I just think ninja should be, should belong in every class because you never know who has a headset, and you want to have the best chance you can against good people or. <clears throat> more experienced players because more experienced players tend to have headsets I said it before anyways um as you can see um me and him are top i don't know if you can tell actually but if you look our mics are usually always lit up whenever we do something kind of coordinated together we're always trying to my goal is to keep the b flag as much as possible because you can kind of control the map with the b flag and um and B flag is where I usually feel most comfortable, anyways, just because I can. There's good vent or good sight lines. I mean, there's good sight lines, and um, you can pretty much like control spawns and everything from this area. Because you can look over this wall to C, and if they come around from C, you can do it. And then you can watch uh, the middle. You stand on that little up the stairs. There's like the middle part. You can look at the middle of the map, and then you can watch the back door for anyone coming from A. <clears throat> so it's pretty easy and this where I'm standing right here that's like the only vulnerable spot like it, when people get in there the enemy gets in where I'm saying this little ditch thing the loading dock area and um <clears throat> that's the only part you have to watch out for so kind of make sure you control this little area the B warehouse but anyways um as you can see I'm just I'm definitely trying to keep B for um for ourselves and I'm kind of telling them do your thing see I told B money try getting A I'm gonna stay at B and defend it but I did die 
And right here, my guy is going into B, so I throw my stuns. And the reason I do that is because I want it to be as easy as it can be for him to defend that flag. And so, if you ever see your teammates getting into a sticky situation, like you see a bunch of red dots on the map, and you might see your teammates running into it, you definitely want to just throw your stuns into that area. Just be a team player. And I definitely think that's what this class is about. It's all about being a team player, because you're sacrificing higher kill streaks for kill streaks that pretty much only help your team. Predator missile can almost be good. Um, it's not amazing. Um, but to me, actually, to me, the Predator missile is like the most reliable kill streak because the chance of you not getting a kill is like extremely low, and that's what you're pretty much expecting. Um, other kill streaks like Harriers, everyone expects to get like four kills from those just so they can get their ACs and whatevers, and yeah, or maybe just two. But from a predator, everyone seems to only um, expect like one kill, so it's it does its job. That's why I like it. It's reliable, doesn't lie. It does what it says it'll do, and um, it's great for defending flags too. Many people don't think of it as like that, but I like to stockpile them, like save them when I get them, and um, and then oh sorry, I was just looking at the UAV to see if we had the UAV up. Um. We yeah, like to stockpile them just in case the enemy gets air support or gets um or is capping one of our outside flags and outdoors. I mean, like outdoors, not inside the warehouse. And <coughs> that's why I just thought about right now. That's another reason why I like the the Predator, just because it can destroy air support also, and it's just so multi-purposed. It works well for everything. That's also why I like the AT4. I think because it is multi-purposed. I am. I do like multi-purpose more than anything else. Um, that's a big deal to me. But anyways, let's see. Um, as you see, I'm not camping. <coughs> Sorry, I gotta clear my throat. I'm still just like a a little sick from um, last time I did a commentary. I kind of mentioned I was a little bit sick, and <coughs> I got like the phlegm in my throat. So I'm trying to trying to be able to speak clearly and um and not sound like a fucking gross ass guy anyways um let's see my prayer missiles i'm using to defend flags you see they said they're taking c so i launched it on c unfortunately the guy was inside the plane um not many people cap the flag from there anymore but you see i still do it because people don't expect it anymore i don't know why they don't do it but it seems to work fine for me every time or almost every time and um this team they weren't exceptional players they were they just had like six k kind of decent people i guess i don't know how you describe them they're like average i guess no one on that team was impressive no one was like so bad you're just like oh my god this is the worst player in the world well they probably were pretty bad people but i don't think anyone was that bad and i got semtex swallows while I was capping the B flag <laughs> because I was <clears throat> I was trying to do two things at once. I was trying to defend the A flag with my prayer missile and cap the B flag by just being on it. And it's good to kind of multitask like that when um when playing objective game modes. See how many birds you can kill with one stone, I guess. And uh, so we're coming back to the B area. B money was in there and he was holding it down. Um, don't. Whenever you're playing with the teammates, I've learned this. Don't ever like expect them to do uh, a specific job. <clears throat> you have to give them like a more general job. Because I was seeing like when you tell a teammate um, stay a B or something, defend B. If they die, then oh, I knew I was gonna die right there, so I had to take as many as I could before I went down. But anyways, it, you they you're putting too much pressure on them to do a job that um that you're obviously not willing to do because you're not doing it but maybe you are willing to do it you just can't be two places at once but oh hold on, look at this look at that turn on that was beautiful I love that but like I was saying it's just kind of more difficult to um I don't know if it's difficult is the right word but it's better to not expect as m that much from your team especially if they're not your actual on your friends list or just like teammates don't expect much um but if they're your teammates like I had B money and I just told him to use this class because it's really good. He's like, yeah, I'll use it. And it's more like you just tell him that you give him a broad 
sort of outline of what you want them to do during the game. Just like <clears throat> defend the flags, stay around. Um, I told my goal is to have two flags at all times. It's obvious, I guess. Oh, right here. Look what I, I it immediately jumped to cover. It didn't work right there, but <clears throat> I had the theory right. Um, because like I was watching the door, and so that's why I instantly just jumped right to that cover spot, the little box I could kind of get a head glitch on, kind of. It didn't work entirely, but like I was saying, um, just give them a kind of broad outline of what you want to do. Just play objectively, and um, and it tends to work out a little bit better. But um, in general, that's what I think is like the right way to play the game or objective game modes. How I was doing it right there, running around, getting your kills, getting your kill streaks, make them low, be a team player basically. As you can see, I was being a team player, capping and defending flags, and <clears throat> don't get greedy, don't get greedy.